Dean Patricia Salkin. Dean Salkin, a 1985 graduate of Rockefeller College, is Dean and Professor of Law at the Turo College Jacob D. Fuchsberg Law Center. She's a nationally recognized scholar on land use law and zoning and has authored hundreds of books, articles, and columns, and quite literally wrote a lot of the law in the state of New York on these topics. She also writes a popular blog, Law of the Land, and has been a leader in several professional organizations. Dean Salkin is committed to advancing the status of women in the legal profession, earning recognition from the women's bar associations, women's business organizations, and nonprofit organizations focused on women. At Tura Law, Dean Salkin and her family have established two student scholarships, one awarded to female students who show a commitment to women's and or diversity issues, and the other for a law student who is also raising a family. At UAlbany, to honor the memory of her grandmother, Ann Gustin, Dean Salkin endowed the Ann Gustin Rockefeller College Scholarship for Women in Law or Government. This scholarship supports female students who intend to pursue employment at a government agency or to attend law school following their graduation. In addition to being one of Rockefeller's most distinguished alums, Dean Salkin also serves as a member of the college's advisory board, and I should note, is the very proud mother of one of this year's graduates. So please join me in welcoming Dean Patricia Salkin. Dean Rethmeyer and members of the faculty, thank you for the honor of joining you here today. Although I'm not so sure, after listening to Barbara Smith and Peter Hooley, and then uh, listening to Brianna and Rose, I now have four really tough acts to follow. Most important, I want to say uh, for myself, good afternoon and congratulations, class of 2015. And of course, a very special shout out to my daughter, Sydney Gross. Sydney, you demonstrate every day that anything is possible and that you were born to make a difference. You make Dad and I very proud. And a sincere big congratulations to each and every one of you and to everyone in the audience, as well as to those not able to be with us today. But their love and sacrifice helped each of you to reach this important milestone. This morning, the University at Albany bestowed upon the class of 2015 the formalities and pomp and circumstance of the traditional university-wide conferral of degrees. This afternoon, we gather as new Rockefeller College alumni to celebrate with our families, friends, and the faculty. Sometimes these observances are referred to as graduation. I prefer the word commencement. Synonyms for the word commencement include beginning, day one, kickoff, launch, and start. These words all describe what is really happening. While the diploma you receive confirms that you have completed the work necessary to earn a college degree, this privilege comes with an obligation, an obligation to begin a journey that will be personally fulfilling and at the same time contribute to the common good. You are graduating with degrees in political science and public policy. Some of you are going on to graduate work in a variety of disciplines, Others of you are planning to enter the workforce. You will soon experience the reality that graduates of Rockefeller College simply have a higher calling. Whether you realize it today, a long and distinguished list of Rockefeller College alumni demonstrates that many of you will pursue careers in government or in the nonprofit world in positions of advocacy to advance public policy and government reform. As a group, this class, like the Rockefeller alumni who came before you, are caring and passionate individuals who will make a difference in this world. I am confident that walking across this stage today, we have future presidential, congressional, gubernatorial, and state legislative candidates. You will see future judges, agency commissioners, and others who will be influential in government and governance. You will see executive directors of nonprofit organizations, and you will see social engineers who will challenge the established order and so-called conventional wisdom 
to get our communities on better paths to brighter and fairer tomorrows. You graduates have been equipped with the tools to be leaders, and I have no doubt that you will use them to good effect. Your talent and commitment is truly needed now more than ever. Today we live in a world where our children have to fear terrorist attacks, fear that law enforcement may profile them instead of protect them, fear that they will not have food to eat tomorrow or that they may never see a parent again, fear of getting sick because health care is still not accessible, and fear that they will never grow up to know peace and prosperity. People suffer daily from lack of housing, lack of quality health care, and discrimination of all kinds. This is where commencement comes in. You are here because you worked hard. Yes, but lots of people work hard. You're here because inside all of us is a moral compass and a passion to correct the injustices we see. To stand up and say, yes, all lives matter. To help people get jobs. To ensure that no one in this nation goes to sleep hungry. To continue the fight for access to a quality education for all children, to address daunting health care costs, to ensure that everyone has a safe place to live and raise a family, and to ensure access to justice and the protection of our constitutional rights. Do not lose sight of those in need whose voices may not be heard as loud as ours because their needs are no less important than our own. Anne Frank wrote, the final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. I challenge you, graduates, ask yourself, who is the person that you are going to be? What will your character be? Will you help others? Will you give back to the communities that raised you and to the people who lack the resources to help you even though they wanted to? Will you speak for those that have no voice? Will you kneel down and let others climb up and rise on your shoulders? helping those who will follow to be as successful? Will you be a door opener instead of a door closer? One of my heroines is Kate Stoneman, a graduate of the University at Albany when it was known as the Normal College. Kate was the first woman to be admitted to the bar in New York after she went to the state legislature and the governor in 1886 to get the law changed to allow women to be admitted to the bar. She had, after all, already passed the bar exam, but the way the statute was written, it only allowed men to be admitted to the bar. An activist in the suffrage and temperance movements, Kate had this message for young women, quote, they must take their opportunities as they come. Always there are opportunities to be had. Class of 2015, take your opportunities and fly. I look at you and I smile because I see hope. Because I know that some of you are already working in jobs that will enable you to help others every day. I know some of you have already had a hand in shaping public policy. And I know most of you experienced that good feeling inside when you volunteered for community service and saw the smile on someone else's face or heard that whisper of a thank you from a total stranger because you know that you had done something good for somebody else. The public often takes for granted ingredient labels on food products these days. They often consist of bewildering lists of obscure ingredients, incomprehensible nutritional values, and scary warnings about the misuse of the products. To my knowledge, though, no one has yet tried to design a label for a college diploma, so I've taken the liberty of suggesting one for you. Ingredients, energy, enthusiasm, passion, desire, creativity, curiosity, ingenuity, ambition, grounding, self-awareness, commitment, drive, confidence, individuality, and resiliency. And I must note the warning on the label says it contains trace amounts of uncertainty. The directions, use immediately for best results on the journey. Combine ingredients in this diploma to begin testing the limits of the mind to explore and uncover endless possibilities. Do not wait for others to begin first. Rely on yourself to arrive at creative solutions and innovative discoveries that will advance the understanding of the world and its component parts. Experience public service. 
For best results, always act with the utmost integrity and honesty. Incorporate values based on your own tradition to remain centered. Maintain a sense of social justice. Listen and reflect before making a move, but take calculated risks. Never lose your optimism and the belief that you possess the skills and knowledge to meet personal goals and to achieve a sense of accomplishment. Give back and be philanthropic. Warning, failure to use the ingredients properly to make a difference may result in an unsustainable future for all. Guaranteed, if not fully satisfied, review and refresh ingredient list and repeat directions as needed may require multiple attempts to achieve desired outcomes. Success will result in time. Class of 2015, you are our future, and the future is what you make of today. Keep your eyes on the prize of seeking justice and fairness. Never give up until the work is done. And Sydney, you know it wouldn't be me if I didn't end with words from one other important woman, woman Eleanor Roosevelt, who said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Dream big, class of 2015, and I look forward to reading about you in the alumni magazine.